Today I'm at the uh, Ho Yun Ki restaurant here in East Vancouver. So we're gonna have their specialty lobster with sticky rice. I'm also gonna have my favorite dish, the uh, special chow mein and some other tasty dishes. So let's go in and give this restaurant a try. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I, I just don't want to risk going into a... Uh... So there are many benefits to uh, jellyfish. It's good for your skin. It, it makes you keep you young. That's what the claim is. <laughs> I don't want to take the whole thing. Oh, look at that, look at that. I don't want to take the whole thing. I'll just take it. I'll just take it. Just have it. Break it. Have the big piece. Just have the big piece. Okay, that's good. Thanks, man. Okay, have it. Just eat the whole thing. All. So that's the uh, jellyfish. What do you think of the jellyfish? Oh, what do you think of the jellyfish? It's really good. So the thing about jellyfish keeps it young. That's why we all look young, except for me, of course. <laughs> so my mom likes to eat uh, jellyfish. Jellyfish supposedly has uh, benefits for you, such as uh, keeping your skin young. So that's my mom's favorite, the jellyfish. So this jellyfish doesn't have any uh, chili oil or chilies. So it's uh, just a touch of sesame. Uh, just uh, with some sesame seeds on the top. It's a nice veggie to go with your your meal because it's nice and plain, just uh, garlic. So when you want a nice compliment for veggies, so this is it. It's called a dao meal. It's uh, pea pod shoots. So this is the pea pod shoot. So when you want a nice uh, side vegetable, this is the one to eat. But in the end, it was like. Oh, this is the special chow mein. Look at that, look at that. I always <laughs> order the special chow mein every time I go eat. One of my viewers said, where's the special chow mein in the last video? Well, in this video, here it is. Look at that, look at that. So this is a special chow mein. My mom's gonna take the first taste test. She's gonna bite into the scallop. Hoi ma? Go on to game cha. <laughs> the good thing about the special town is they got big juicy scallops. Uh, okay. Hi, or, uh, so you look at the chow mein, it's got the crispy noodles infused with the sauce. Mm. Here's the wonton, this is a traditional wonton noodle soup with the guts in the innards. Ah, look at this, look at this, this is a tripe. So if you don't know what you're ordering, the waitress or the waiter will always say, do you know what you're eating? Of course, this is one of my favorites, it's the innards. Mm. Oh, it just tastes the uh, flavor of the soup. Look at these huge wontons, look at that. This place is famous for their wonton noodles. Mmm, the soup is infused in that wonton. So this is the wonton noodles. This is a standard wonton noodle with a clear broth. So, taste the broth. Taste the broth. What do you think? It's not bad, not too much MSG. 10 bucks, best deal in town. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, look at that, look at that. So that's the uh, lobster with the glutinous rice, it's steamed. And this is a big lobster, three and a half pounds. Look at that, look at that. Wow, look at that. So usually you should get a, a younger lobster. This one's three and a half pounds. This is an old lobster. Most of the weight is in the shell. So you should usually order uh, smaller lobster. So basically they showed me the lobster, but you're paying for the extra weight. So it's better value. Maybe order two small ones than one big one. So like I said, when you order a lobster, order a smaller lobster. Don't order the large one, three and a half to four pounds. You're basically paying for the shell. You're paying for the weight. So the thing about the lobster tail is you split it down the middle and then you get the bigger piece of lobster meat. So I'm, I'm still looking for the lobster meat. Hey, the lumber gang is... So the glutinous rice is the sticky rice. So they um, they have the flavor of the lobster infused in the sticky rice. 
Yeah, just record I'm not so happy about it. Yeah, it's good. Because right? it's not a fresh lobster. Plus, it's heavy in the shell. The weight of the shell is very heavy. One of the for they want to build a, a building there now. And since the last time we stopped them six years ago, I think it was six years ago, the thing is, uh, people didn't actually make an effort to decide what to put on there, didn't didn't try to get some kind of policy. So it could be a sad situation. Today. So they, they're going to, they already set up the fence. I think they're ready to build. Right? So the thing is, they're taking a vote today. And it could be a hard vote because it's a city officials voting. It's not city council. Well, I saw this thing on uh, Saturday. And uh, mostly senior citizens. They're not going to turn that into senior citizen for the, that lot. You know, because we could have had the museum there, but the museum, they already have it already set up. Well, the bureaucrats. That would be a great place for a museum, yeah. Chinese Canadian Museum. But somebody wanted to shortcut it. So they uh, already have the museum set to uh, July 1st. So once they have the museum, what are you going to use this uh, piece of land for, right? Yeah. So in terms of. Uh, for Chinatown. Yeah, some kind I don't of really have a plan. Yeah, for sure. It's been like six years. They haven't actually talked about a plan wow. for Chinatown. It's, it's been that long, eh? So a long time ago, they, they were going to keep the, the the fronts of the of the society buildings and build new new building on top, right in the back. Right. Yeah. But that was just all talk and never went through. So that's where it's at.